Welcome to video number 26 where I'm going to talk about, no, I'm going to talk about the status of my Nanzoff 30 day challenge. This video posted on Sunday, so that means it's been 10 days since I started the Nanzoff challenge. But this video, I want to talk about my first week, those first seven days. You know what I have to say about those first seven days? It was not a fun week, my friends. So in that first week on day one, I got a clip for you from the very first day that I started Nans Off. Here it is. Hey, I'm in Springfield, Illinois at a place called Charlie Parker's Diner. Right here, it's in Springfield off North Street. I'll put the address in the description below. Uh, this was day one of Nans Off. Got it. A friend of mine, Rachel, treated me to breakfast here. I actually had their breakfast pony shoe. It was really good and I had iced tea. So it fits in the Nanzoff uh, plan here. And so it was a diner because Nanzoff is not about necessarily eating healthy. And that's where we're gonna go with this. I have a lot of information for you, but first here's a clip from like day three. I forgot to smile. And how about another clip like around day five? Wrapping up day five, uh, Tuesday night, Springfield, Illinois, third base of the Dart League. And it's uh, half cranberry, half orange juice on ice. So as you can see, I am trying different things. I have to go to a bar because I am on a pool league weekly and a weekly dart league. So I'm around a bar atmosphere. And so the drink of choice is orange juice and cranberry juice in a cup of ice. Uh, but that's what I drink. And then if I'm at a restaurant, it's iced tea for me. So let's talk about the Nans Off Challenge. The Nans Off Challenge is not like the other challenges where they're trying to bring awareness to maybe a disease or a charitable events or something like that. Nans Off is about you. Yes, it's all about you. You have worth. People do not say enough. You can do that. If you want to play a guitar with a broken string, you can do that. You want to play a kind of funny looking guitar that has a different shape to it? You can do that. You want to play a guitar made out of all metal that weighs, I don't know, 30, 40 pounds and could be its own weapon if someone breaks in? Yes, you can do that. Do you want to collect stamps or even theme stamps from Star Wars? You do that. Do you want to collect 50,000 stamps from all over the world and the US? Yeah, you can do that too, but it takes a little storage space. If you want to make YouTube videos without wearing any pants, you can do that. What I'm trying to say is there's got to be a starting point, something that you can put your finger on that you challenged yourself to and said you did that. Not where somebody else said you should do this or other people or other friends, family, community, they tell you you should do this or you should try this. Not that, something that you challenged you to because it's your life and you said, I did that, wait a minute. I just committed. I committed for 30 days to do something and I did it. Because once you get that feeling that you did something for 30 days, it's your life. You then can do anything after that because the next thing that you do, you can say, you know, I did that. And if I can do that, I can do something else because I know how to commit. I know how to commit for 30 days and do it because I want it to. And you can do it because it's your life. Don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, tell people about the talk because you don't talk about things, you have to talk about things. And maybe I'll try some of these other walking caps on for us. So anyway, thank you very much. Always good to see you. Come on back. See you next week.